Hello my beautiful Scorpios, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for December 20th, 2021. So without further ado, Scorpio, let's dive into this reading. Let's see what's going on with your specific person, what could be going on in their environment, how they feel about you, maybe how they're thinking about you right now, etc. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. I have the power of number 11. Yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born in the month of November. However, you could also be dealing with the Sagittarius born at the latter part of November. Power of number one, we could see the Magician card kick in. And also, too, with the power of number 11, we could see the Justice card show up. So some of you guys are dealing with a Libra more specifically Power of number one, like I said, magician energy and or any of the aces, you could be dealing with a Gemini again straight up. Power of number 12, we could see the hanged man card kick in. More specifically, you could be dealing with the Pisces, but with the number 12, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and or a Capricorn throughout the month of December for some of you. Looks like we are going to the number 24. We could also see temperance come in. I'm seeing an 1111 energy, so the four of wands could show up. We could also see the emperor and or the high priestess cards. So some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February, possibly an Aries or a Taurus throughout the month of April. And the world card could kick in, okay? So you might be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio such as yourself. So going to the power of number 24 number 24 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is going on with Scorpio's specific person, please? Whether, again, it's their environment, how they're feeling about Scorpio, how they're thinking about Scorpio. What is going on with them right now currently, please? What's up with them? Wow. Five of Pentacles. Somebody is feeling lack or they're feeling left out in the cold, Scorpio, or they could be reflecting on how they left you out in the cold, left you feeling ghosted, rejected, etc. Or kicking this karmic that they've dealt with for some of you guys that are that know for a fact that this person's dealing with a third party. Somebody's getting kicked to the curb. Of pretty much the land of karma. <laughs> karma, karmic wonderland. Oh, okay. Well, let's see why your person is in the Five of Pentacles. Their finances could be getting hit up royally right now, Scorpio. Yeah, you know what? I was on the power of number two in my head. There's a Two of Pentacles. They're juggling their money. Karma could be juggling them. Why is this person that Scorpio is dealing with, trusted ancestors, why are they in this Five of Pentacles energy? Why? What's it about? Oh, God, it just gets, it just gets better and better for them, right? Nine of Swords, they're all up in their freaking head. They're restless, Scorpio. This person is so damn restless, they don't know what to do with themselves. Some of them are spying in on you on social media. The Wheel of Fortune, baby. What goes around comes around. 
they are getting their freaking karma. Karma is a royal bitch. Just saying, right? They want to reach out to you, but they're not sure if you're going to accept their cup of love or their offer. Four of cups, bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are dealing with another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Fixed sign energy coming in through the Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Your person's first and or last name could have the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within his or her name. Okay? They want to reach out to you desperately. This is what I'm hearing. Somebody could have lost a job. Your person could have lost a job or if maybe they're in business or something, maybe they're losing clientele, maybe things are not shifting the way that they see it. They're getting hit up. This, this Wheel of Fortune next to a Nine of Swords and a Five of Pentacles, karma's hitting their weakest link and it's looking like their mental mind frame and their money. Message from the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it is about the money. It is also about, and it could also be they're going through family situations too. There could be argumentative things that are going on with your person and their family members. They're seeing you prosper. They're seeing you level up, Scorpio, or they feel it coming. They feel it coming. And I've, I've said this energy has been here before. Message from the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yeah. Karma is hitting them up royally in their pockets. It could be because they haven't learned their lesson. Some of them have not learned their lesson. Bottom line, a lot of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy going on. Show me this five of pentacles, please. There's an ending. There could have been an ending to a job. Sign of Scorpio coming in through the death card change and transformation. They're also feeling the burn because you're leveling up Scorpio for a lot of you guys. Okay. And they're missing you. They know that they ghosted you. They're all up in their head. They know that they could have had it all with you. This person is besides themselves. Literally. They are besides themselves. There's no queen. There's no king. Either this person is completely alone right now or they're alone in their thoughts, which, yes, a lot of times, yeah, we are alone in our thoughts. But this person is overthinking. They're thinking about the deception, everything that they did to you, the moon card. Some of you guys are dealing with the Cancerian, straight up. It almost seems, Scorpio, that whatever you told this person became self-prophesizing. Show me this two of pentacles. A breakup, a split. Their heart is aching, grieving over you. And this karmic, because either they got thrown out, kicked out of their environment, or they had to kick the karmic to the curb, there's an ending. There's an ending to a relationship or some kind of a commitment that this person was starting to you know, that was, they were in this committed partnership with this other person. That they started to try to build a foundation. Try. They're feeling the burn, baby. Show me the three of swords. Trusted ancestors. Show me this person's energy. Yeah, they're single. A lot of them are on the verge of being single over the next nine days, three days, three weeks, two days, two more months for some of them, nine days, nine weeks. In the here and the now, I'm picking this up with this energy right now. Message from the sign of Scorpio. Everything that they did to you is hitting them up now. And little bit at a time, it's been hitting them up. And spirits are getting on their finances. They're hitting the weakest link. They're hitting the weakest link. It's their money. And yet at the same time, they want to rebirth. 
They want to be a phoenix rising up out of the ashes with you, Scorpio, to bring in this major commitment, but some of them feel that they don't have enough to offer. Even if you know that this person had some kind of money or maybe they just worked really hard, their money's getting juggled. They could have made poor financial decisions, poor choices in their money. There was an ending to some form of a commitment because you go from the 10 to the ace. 9, 10, ace. And the news is going to spread like wildfire. Six of wands, bottom of the deck. This could happen on a social media platform. You'll find out through friends, family members, mutual acquaintances, whatever, that this person's not dealing with this person anymore. Message from the Ace of Pentacles. They're not giving to the karmic anymore, and they also feel like they don't have enough to give you right now. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, but yet they see this victory. They see this victory here with you. Fate and destiny. They don't know how they're going to pull this off. Message from the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They were blindsided to so much, Scorpio. Blindsided to the truth of your connection. Blindsided to the truth of the connection with the karmic. Blindsided to the truth of their family members. Blindsided to the truth of who they are. Some of them, I feel, cannot even look at themselves in the mirror. Message from the Two of Swords. I got to clarify that. Yeah, see, them trying to find some kind of courage or strength. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo throughout the month of August. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of Cups. I had mentioned about the Seven of Cups, that this energy circulates. Yeah, it is about the snakes in the grass. They were blindsided to the truth of the snakes in the grass. Those choices and those options have run out. Why would I say that even though this is in the upright? Death card. Sign of Scorpio. Message from strength. <laughs> yeah, they, they fantasize about moving forward. This is what I'm seeing. Want to get out of some cloudiness, some dark situation because it feels like every time they turn around, something dark is happening. Nothing could be going in their direction. They're juggling. It just gets better and better for them, Scorpio. Ten of Wands, an uphill battle. They did this to themselves. Nobody else. This is what happens when somebody doesn't take full responsibility for their actions. Karma is making them feel the burn, baby. The burn. Message from the Six of Swords. Yeah, there's an ending coming. I said we could see the world card. This person will be reaching out to you on social media. Or they're, like I said, they're trying to scope you out on some kind of social media platform. Try to reach out to friends or family. Have you heard from so-and-so? Blah, blah, blah. This person doesn't want to move into 2022 with this karmic. Two massive endings. World and the sign of Scorpio. I'm hearing spirits say that somebody's... Some of your partners are saying, how could I have done this to my person? How could I have done this to my person? How could I have done this to my person? This person, I feel, is grieving. They are. Give me another message, Trust of the Ancestors from the Nine of Swords.
They are feeling the burn of walking away from you, ghosting you, leaving you high and dry. Now it's all coming back to them. It's all coming back to them, Scorpio. You forewarned them. You told them what was going to happen. This is from the Eight of Cups. See, when they left you, or vice versa, you had to leave them, or they left you with no choice. They thought that they were going to capture the vision of being with somebody brand new, that it was going to be different. Uh-uh. No. They're in a Five of Pentacles energy. Don't you worry, my beautiful Scorpio spirits has got your back. It's all going to come back into alignment. Patience, virtue, being obedient, not just only to the universe, but to yourself, listening to your higher wisdom, your higher guidance, your, your listening and seeing the vision of your crown chakra, third eye chakra. Don't feel that the spirits took this person away from you they took you out of the equation because they knew that this person was not going to be loyal they weren't going to be faithful they pulled you out of the equation because this was a divine gift from the universe to this person To have it all and they threw it off to the side like a piece of freaking coal now look what's happening to them now they're the piece of coal one more message from the five of Pentacles please with Scorpio's person There's nothing more to clarify, you guys. This person has been backstabbed and betrayed. Everything that they did to you is now happening to them. It's really sad. It's honestly really sad. There, I feel for some of them, they're going to get a rude wake-up call on Christmas. Or the holidays, New Year's Eve, because the world card, I look at it as New Year's Eve, as a holiday. This person went from the Nine of Swords now into the Ten of Swords. Out of the blue, this karmic could have told your person that they didn't love them anymore. I think I was picking up that energy in yesterday's reading or the reading before that. This person is besides themselves. They don't know what they don't know what the hell to do. Message from the Ten of Swords. I think they're wondering. Here's the Six of Cups. This person is having a lot of doubt whether or not they can return to you. This could have been somebody that they tried to return to that was in their past. Uh, uh, uh. Looks like it, according to my cards, it didn't work out. Or it's not working out. Mm-mm. Show me the Six of Cups in reverse, yeah. If they built a relationship with somebody from their past or somebody that they had an attraction to, it's over. The chemistry is done. It was a lustful situation, yet again, at the same time, they don't know if they can have a new beginning here with you. Because all of their lies caught up to them. 
and it's in the works right now and it is also happening in the near future here too it's all circulating the energy is all circulating message from the ace of wands so they want to reconcile some of them will be coming back to you within one week's time 10 days 10 weeks could be in the season of aquarius they see you you're the shining star baby you always have been you were this person's guiding light you were their muse you were their serendipity and they blew it. Four cups again on the bottom of the deck. Oh, they're still going to come in. They're going to try. They're going to try. Message from the star. Yeah, see, they're spying in heavily on you. They want to know what you're up to, asking friends, family, mutual acquaintances. Even if you have this person blocked, they're still opening up their mouth in order to see what you're up to. And they're also going through jealousy. I feel like they're, yeah, look at tower card. I was picking up on the energy of the tower card yesterday in my mind's eye. Here it is today. They're spying in so heavily on you that it's, I'm hearing the song, it's, I don't know who sings it, it's getting harder and harder to breathe. I, I can't, I don't know who sings that. It's getting harder and harder to breathe. Yeah. Because you were their life force, Scorpio. You were the one that was helping them to succeed and also help grow. And you guys were learning from one another. There's, there is still, yeah, there's still chemistry. Between the two of you, there's no doubt about this. It's coming through the Ace of Wands. But see, they're going to be begging for a second chance. And I feel like this person is jealous. Like if you go out with girlfriends, if you go out with guy friends, if you're just going out. And and let's just say, for example, you're posting something on social media. You're having a great time, blah, blah, blah. You know, they see it for some of them. Or they're getting it through the grapevine. And when they come in, it's going to be shocking. Message from judgment. Yeah, they see you leveling up. They see you getting recognition. Maybe you're just doing doing you, Scorpio. And they're wondering why you're not giving them attention. It's because of what they did. Now you're getting attention from other people. And if you feel like you're not getting attention from other people right now, get ready. Because you guys are going to shine like the top of the Chrysler building. I just heard Rihanna shine bright like a diamond with that star card. You're going to be in your glory, Scorpio. And this person... Is going through the guilt, remorse, regret of the quicksand. They are so mentally consumed with your energy right now. They can't stand it. Yet they can taste you in such a way. This person will. They'll get a squirrel up their ass. They'll come forward. Yeah. Look at that. Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Coming in as Mr. or Ms. Casanova. They're going to try to find a way to be persuasive, to reach out to you. Show me the Ten of Swords again. Whatever commitment they had going on with this third party, it is over. The Hierophant. Some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus or Gemini throughout the month of May. It's over. Huh. 
Now they want to rebuild and grow with you. After they breadcrumbed you. But yet it's at the same time they want equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. Well, that's what you only wanted from them, Scorpio. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Karma is hitting them up like a royal bitch. Well, we're going to move forward. I'll be still doing readings for the channel. Moving forward, projecting forward into the future with the power of the numbers, you guys. And so it is. Take care of my beautiful Scorpios.